Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Minzy. Here on my channel, we talk a lot about fragrances. I love sharing and connecting with you guys through my olfactive journey or just by anything that makes my heart happy. So if that sounds like something you enjoy watching, please consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of my videos in the future. All right guys, I am in a very good mood today because I have an extremely good makeup day. And I don't know, something about a good makeup day makes me so happy. It makes my day go very smoothly and I feel like you know everything is possible and of course other than that I have a very good productive work week um, I got a lot of things done I learned a lot of new things that I'm at my new job so I feel like you know I, I'm getting the recognitions that I deserve and I just that makes me really really happy anyway guys today it's going to be a haul video and I'm not just talking about fragrances today we actually have a good combination of a lot of other things like makeup skincare I have sunglasses that I bought that I want to show you guys I have some jewelry yeah it's just a lot of random things that I love to talk about um, yeah I, I just love showing you guys more than just fragrances on my channel and I think you guys is going to enjoy this haul because I believe that a lot of you guys out there beside fragrances you guys are also into you know makeup beauty fashion stuff so I would love to share it with you guys all right, let's talk about makeup first. And if you guys are like a makeup, beauty, skincare fan, you know that Sephora just have their VIB sales. And I'm not like a VIB at all. I'm like just a beauty insider. So I'm like at the low level and I get access on a very last date and I only get 10% but I have a couple of things that I want to try out and add to my makeup collection so I did do a little bit of damage but I'm so far I'm really good with my purchase I only have to return one thing and I'm going to show you guys right now the first thing I got from Sephora is the Hall Labs foundation and if you don't know this is a brand uh, from lady gaga and i got in and this foundation is in the shade 175 light neutral so far i really really love it i have to wear it to see you know how it's how long it lasts on my skin but i just love the finish of this foundation and i think the thing about this foundation that I love the most is the color. I feel like it is so hard. Nowadays, it's a little bit easier, um, but still, it's so hard for me to find like a color that match my skin tone. And this color right here match me perfectly. When I when I put this on, I'm surprised. I'm so so surprised that it matched my skin tone perfectly. And I'm telling you, I just literally blind bought this foundation. Um, I just go on, you know, do my own research on Google and go on a website and decide that this color might work on my skin and <laughs> it's actually worked, so I'm so happy. And I love the finish of this foundation. I also love the coverage of this foundation to me you can go from light to a very full coverage basically it is buildable but it feels and it looks very natural on your skin oh my god what sorry i'm as a habit you know i always open the fragrance to smell and now like i'm just doing the same thing for the foundation it's ridiculous but yeah guys um 
I've been hearing a lot of people talking about this foundation, so I was really curious. To me, as I get older, when it comes to makeup, I, I love a good base makeup. If the base makeup is not good, it just kind of ruined the whole thing. So I really pay a lot of ten attentions and I focus more on buying a really good base um, makeup like foundations, primer, concealer, stuff like that. And I feel like this one's really, really uh, meet my expectations. I, Like I said, I love the color. I love the finish. It is more on a um, natural to dewy finish. But if you don't like too dewy uh, foundations, there's nothing you cannot fix with a face powder. Again, I love how it wears on my skin. It feels very lightweight. Um, it looks natural. I love the coverage, everything. So if you haven't tried Holes Labs, um, the foundation from Holes Lab, maybe give it a try. This is my first time trying this foundation. Like I said, I just bought this one from Sephora and it's just arrived yesterday. And I just had to put it on right away today to test it out. And so far, I love it. I love it so much. And I'm so happy to finally have this foundation in my collections. So again, we have um, foundations from Holes Lab. All right, let's move on to the next thing that I got from Sephora. It is the concealer from Too Faced Born This Way. And here is the concealer. And it is in the shade Vanilla. And I feel like this one, if you guys are into makeup, you guys probably already know about this concealer. I have a lot of, I have tried a lot of concealer, but again, as I get older, I focus more on a really good base makeup. And I have like fine line under my eyes. It's, it get, it's getting bad. <laughs> and all of my concealer that I'm using right now, they just look so dry under my eyes and it creased really, really fast. So it really bothers me. So I just have to like place an order for this concealer to try it out to see how it works under my eyes. And again, so far I really like it. It's not dry under my eyes, but it's still like give me a more matte finish look. And I love that. Um, I love the shade. I love the coverage. If you know, this is a very good coverage concealer. So if you are looking for some concealer that have a very high coverage, try this one out. Um, so far, I feel like it doesn't look bad under my eyes. It's not dry. It doesn't crease bad, like as bad as other. It still creases a little bit, but it's not like crazy. I feel like creasing is something um, that we cannot avoid, but I want the least creasing as much as possible. So, so far, again, I really like this one. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that so far all the things that I got from Sephora worked out for me. I actually get another one in the shade. I don't remember the, the shade name, but I, it's a little bit too dark for me. So I feel like I don't need that dark concealer. So I just, I'm going to just return that one. But I still have this one in the shade Vanilla. And if I need it to be a little bit lighter, I can just mix with the color corrector from LA Girl. So yeah, we have the concealer from Too Faced. All right, the next one, this one I've been waiting for it to be restocked. Since this was launched, I have been waiting because it's always, always out of stock. And finally, oh my God, it's finally in stock again. And it is the sculpting. It is the soft sculpt shaping stick from Makeup by Mario. And this is in the shape medium. So this is, I don't know if you can tell, this is the shape. So I have been wanting a cream contour stick for a while and I really want to try this one out. Finally, like I said, finally it is in stock. And again, I really, really like it. 
because it is so easy to blend. It's like the blendability. The blendability. Is it in? Is it even a word? <laughs> I don't care. I think you guys understand what I mean. The blendability, which is, it's very easy to blend. Um, but more, even more than that, I really, really like the color. This one is perfect to contour on your face. I feel like the color is not too cool and not too warm where it's like it looks weird on my skin. Usually, you know, with other contour stick, I feel like it is too ashy where it looks like ash on my face. Um, I don't like that. Or it is too red or too orange where it looks, it just looks weird. And I like it because this one is the perfect color to contour on my face. So yeah, I love it. I love it a lot and I'm so happy it's finally in stock so that I can buy this contour stick from Makeup by Mario. So yeah, let's move on to the next item. All right, actually, I didn't, I didn't have it in here. But to, I bought it with this contour stick. I, I actually bought a, a brush from Huda Beauty and I don't have it in here in, in this room because after I do my makeup, I actually wash the brush. So it's very wet right now. I'm trying to dry the brush. So I don't wanna show you guys a wet brush, but I did bought the um, the Huda Beauty brushes that they use for contour to blend this um, contour from Makeup by Mario. Um, again, like I said, I care a lot more about my base makeup at my age. So I want not only my foundation to work, my contour to work, my concealer to work, but also I want to invest in the brush because whatever that you use to blend your foundation, your contour, your concealer, is also very important. So it is expensive to buy that brush, but I don't care. I already spent a lot of money on this foundation and the contour and the concealer. So might as well get a very, very good blending tool, blending brush to go with these, you know, product. But anyway, let's move on. The next item that I got is this, is this blush palette right here. And we have six color, and this is from Melt Cosmetic. And it's actually also on sales, more than just 10%. I think I bought this one for about $28. And guys, look at the colors. Look at the colors. I don't know if you can tell, but I don't want to blind you guys. I recently really like these very bright, very uh, pigmented blush color like this because it makes my face look like baby doll. And I really, really like that look. So I've been really invested in blushes like this and they also have like the more mid-tone blushes like this so that you can blend out the edge if you know these blushes too harsh on your skin you can blend it out with these color and guys they are so pigmented very very the color play the color payoff is just chef kiss chef kiss guy if you haven't tried this blush palette from Melt Cosmetic, I recommend this one, okay? I actually am wearing it right now on my face. Again, like everything that I bought in, this, in the Sephora VIB sales, I'm wearing it today with, in this makeup because I want to test them out. And so far, again, I love everything I picked up from Sephora and <laughs> this palette man I, I cannot stop looking at these color because it's so gorgeous and I love the fact that the color payoff is 
very, very nice. So yeah, we have the blush palette from Melt Cosmetic and it's actually called Mona, Mona Car. Yeah, it's called Mona Car blush palette from Melt Cosmetic. All right guys, let's move on to the skincare. So during the Sephora sales, I actually picked up two skincare product from from Sephora and these I believe these are not on sales because they already very affordable and these are from the ordinary one is the lactic acid and this one is like a serum I believe in this bottle right here and then I got the glycolic acid uh, toning solutions in this big ass bottle right here and you guys might think like why do i need like two different acid for my face skincare well i just want to try out and i know that you guys cannot tell on camera but my skin um i have texture on my skin so my skin it's not like bad bad but my skin is pretty bumpy and I try to fix that problem. I'm just like really, really bad with skincare because I'm so lazy. I am not consistent with skincare, but I've been doing some research to trying to find a, a solutions to, um, you know, to make my skin smoother. And a lot of the video I watch, they recommend these two acid um, for your face. So I'm gonna, you know, switching between them. Of course, you don't need to use it every day. They are recommended to use, I think, only twice a week at night and you have to wear sunscreen if you use these things because they are, of course, they are acid. They basically, you know, exfoliate your skin. So your skin is going to be more sensitive. You have, you know, this new skin all the dead skin will be gone and you have new skin which you have to protect under the sun so if you buy anything exfoliation for your skin make sure you wear sunscreen okay especially we're heading to somewhere right now and i actually also heard that the glycolic acids also help with um, psoriasis and eczema and for those who don't know i actually struggle with eczema and psoriasis for the last 15 years so i had the first time it's flare up was when i'm about when i was about 15 16 and you know i i've been struggling with psoriasis and eczema it's just i just have to accept that i will forever live with this this skin condition but yeah, I try everything, nothing really worked. It flares up all the time and it really, really affect my mood. It makes me stress. It's like, it doesn't help with my anxiety, you know? Like when I have stress, when I have anxiety, it's just flare up even more and it's just get worse and worse. So at this point, I will try anything under the sun to help with my psoriasis and eczema and i heard that glycolic acid is good for these skin conditions so i'm going to try it out that's why i'm so happy it is in a very big bottle like this so i'm not only try this one on your face but also on um, my psoriasis and eczema skin area so yeah if you guys any of you guys out there have the same problem like also dealing with psoriasis and eczema maybe give this a try too and if you have tried this one please let me know if if it works for you because i would love something to you know something to help with my skin condition all right guys let's move on to the fragrances sections and i know you guys are excited to hear about these fragrances and i don't have a lot in this haul but three of them are like new releases that i am so happy to get this opportunity to try them out so three of the fragrances i'm going to talk about today it was gifted to me 
with no obligation to talk about. Again, as you know on my channel, every, all of my review, all of my opinions belong to me. You know, I don't, I'm not under any obligations to talk good about these products or even like just talk about these fragrances. So we're clear on that. So the first fragrance I want to show you guys is Atelier Le Zor Paint Me Up. And guys, look at this bottle. Isn't it gorgeous? Like Atelier Le Zor have the best, the best bottle. Look at those gold flick and I love, I love the pink bottles, guy. Oh, man, I can't look at this bottle forever. I just love it. And I'm not only in love with the bottle, I'm also in love with the scent. And guys, I only got this one like two days ago. I haven't really give any of these like any of these three fragrances a full wear test so i cannot give you like a full in-depth review right now but it's just like the first impression and for my first impression i really like this one and i cannot wait to give it a full wear test and talk about this fragrance so far it is everything that i expect from reading the notes, reading the main accords on their website and on Fragrantica. Oh my God, it's like, it's beautiful, champagne, effervescent, bubbly. It's have that berry smell in here that I really, really love. It smells delicious. It's literally smell like a class of champagne with like a with like a berry in there. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I cannot wait to actually wear this one to go out and then give you guys a full in-depth review on Ping Me Up. So so please be patient, okay? It's it's coming up. It's coming up. All right, the next one I want to show you guys is from the house of Tamin and this is Fanfare. And again, this is a very new release from the house of Tamin. And for those who don't know, this fragrance is launched after Christopher Chong become the creative director of the house of Tamin. And if you don't know who Christopher Chong is, he used to be the create director as Amouage and now he becomes the create the creative director for the House of Tamins. And once I hear that he become you know he's joined the House of Tamins, I just I want to try everything under his supervision, okay? Because if you know Christopher Chong Nothing, nothing under his vision is generic, boring. He always have the most original, unique, outside of the box idea. So anything under his supervisions, I wanna try. <laughs> and again, I am not disappointed with this fragrance. If you are someone that into citrus fragrance, but you feel like those fragrances don't last on your skin, try Tamin Van Fair, okay? This is a very beautiful citrus, clean, fresh, aromatic type of fragrance. And again, I haven't given it a full wear test yet, but based on, you know, when I try on my skin, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that this is going to last. This is going to perform. Again, anything under Christopher Chong, he doesn't do any fragrance that don't perform, that don't last, that don't project. That is like his signature. So he really knows what he's doing and I feel like 
he really tried to make a citrus fresh clean fragrance to last and to perform so i really want to see how he does it in this fragrance um this to me is pretty unisex it could be leaning more on masculine side but again man or woman can wear this you can wear whatever you want guys and yeah if you haven't tried fanfare maybe give it a try um i cannot wait to give it a full wear test and i will come back to update you guys on this fragrance so far i feel like i'm not a fan of i'm actually not like a big fan of citrus fresh fragrance but i feel like it's going to smell really good on my husband oh actually i i, I forgot to update you guys so He's not my fiance anymore. We did um, marriage license, so we are now officially legally married. Eventually, we'll, we will do a wedding, but you know, we, we, we're not in a rush. We still saving money and still want to enjoy life first. So, but yeah, we're now married, so I will call him husband from now on. So yeah, I think this will smell very, very good on his skin. I will for sure make him try this for me because I really want to see how the smell on his skin. So yeah, we have Fanfare from Tami. All right guys, the last fragrance I was gifted is from Ormond Jane and this is Sakura. Here is how the bottle looks. I love this bottle. <laughs> it's so cute and I feel like if you just look at this bottle, you might think this is smell pretty feminine, right? No, I'm telling you right now, it smells really, really unisex. And this fragrance will take you through a journey. I just wear this one yesterday night for a little bit because I went out for a little bit. So I wore it yesterday night. It's not, it's not going to be enough for me to give you a full wear test right now, but I'm telling you my first impression with this fragrance is it's more on the clean, soapy side of the fragrance. So it's floral, it's clean, and it's soapy. And that's what you get in the beginning. Oh, it's also spicy. So some people might think that, oh, it's too much, but please listen to me you have to give it a full wear test like i always say with every fragrance you need to give it a full wear test actually wear the fragrance to go out and see how it how it develops on your skin when i first wear this one it's mostly floral clean spicy aromatic and soapy to my nose and if you know me i don't like soapy fragrance straight up um this the opening of this fragrance, very, very soapy, aromatic, very, also very green to my nose to like, to the point that it's almost too sharp for me. So I almost like give up on this fragrance, but as I wear it, it start develop on my skin. I would say that it get more deep, more woody and also uh, it's get more sweet toward the end. It's not like sweet in a way of a gourmand fragrance, but I can tell there's something sweet in here, which is vanilla added in this fragrance. And because of all of the things that I've been telling you, it's not a fragrance that lean feminine. I think it's perfectly unisex because of how it develops on your skin. It have both, you know, quality of a more masculine and a more feminine fragrance so that's why i say it's perfectly unisex and you will have to try it on your skin and see for yourself how you like it how you like the way it develops on your skin so far i'm not a big fan of the opening because of that you know soapy quality to it but i will definitely give it more try to really give this fragrance a fair chance. Again, like I said, with every fragrance, you need to give it a full wear test, actually wear it out 
to see how you feel about it. Um, but for now, I will say that I quite like it. It's not a love, but I want to try it again to see how I actually feel. So we have Ormond Jane Sakura. All right, the last fragrance I'm going to talk about, this one is not gifted to me. I bought with my own money and I bought it from Joma Shop because they have a very good deal. As you know, Joma Shop always offer like the best deal for niche fragrances. So we have Rosendo Matu number no. six. Here is the bottle. So I have number five and everybody knows number five because it's the most popular from the house of Rosendo Matu. But I've been wanting to try number six. Just look at the descriptions on here. It is jasmine, sandalwood, or oriental musk. And I'm telling you, everything that you see on here, it's exactly what you what you will smell from this fragrance. Again, it's white floral with sandalwood and a lot of musk. This one kind of remind me of the style from Tiziana Terenzi, the house of Tiziana Terenzi because of that musk in here. So if you don't like Tiziana Terenzi musk, you might not like this one, but I really, really like it. It's very, very potent. I'm telling you, it's potent, it lasts, and it performs, okay? Um, if you like a full in-depth review on this fragrance, please let me know. But I'm telling you right now, I love it. And I'm, I cannot wait to wearing throughout my spring and summer this year because, oh my God, this is, this is like my dream of white floral with yellow floral. Again, even though it's not put on here on the bottle there is I believe there is Ylang Ylang in here and it just gives that beautiful tropical exotic touch to this fragrance it's just gorgeous stunning okay if you haven't tried Rosendo Matu number no. six you need to try this one okay this is beautiful this is stunning all right guys now we're done with fragrances, makeup, and skincare. Let's move on to some of the fashion items, shall we? So I have here, <laughs> it's a little bit a lot. Yeah, a little bit a lot. So I have here like six different sunglasses and they are all from free people. Yes, I know, I went a little bit crazy with these sunglasses, but they are so cute. I cannot, like, if you know me, I love sunglasses for summer. It's just like, give me that vacation bougie vibe every time I put on a good sunglasses. So I, I, need, I need all of them. Anyway, let me show you each of them. So let me show you this one first. Here, I love this style. I, I forgot what it's called, but I love this style. And let me put it on. It's my ruin the makeup on my nose, but whatever. I just want to show you guys. <gasps> Look at this. Ooh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? This giving me summer in Italy. Summer on a yacht. Summer on a Italian coastal beach. This is Italy summer vacation in a sunglass form. This is white lotus. This is giving me luxurious, giving me, oh, I have money. I'm going to spend my summer in Italy. I know I could be so extra, but you know what I mean? Like this, give me all the thing that I'm expecting when I wear sunglasses. Like, isn't it 
cute. Isn't it beautiful, guys? This one is actually, the material is a little bit cheap. I expect more than this, but for $20, mm, I guess I can work with it. But yeah, guys, if you want that, you know, if you want a sunglass that's giving you white lotus, giving you summer Italian, Italian summer vacation, try this one out, okay? All right, let's move on to the next one. All right, the next one, again, I don't know the style, but I don't know what it's called, but I like the style. You know, as you can tell, it's like tortoise print. And this looks like this. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys follow Ambrosi on Instagram. I love her, she's always gorgeous, and this, this make me feel like I'm a bad bitch. Make me feel like I am the Asian version of Ambrosi. With this, you know, earring right here. Oh my God, it's give me everything. It's giving me everything that I want and need. Sorry guys. I know I'm a little bit too much today, but I hope you guys enjoy this side of me. All right, let me show you guys the next one. My hair, oh my God, my hair. Oh, I have so much baby hair, guys. It's like annoying. It's stuck on my face. Like, you have no business on my face hair. All right, the next one. <sighs> tell me guys, tell me guys, tell me it doesn't look gorgeous. I think it's look absolutely stunning i feel like i'm a different person when i wear this sunglasses again like i said i always want to feel bougie when i wear these sunglasses you know i want to feel like like i'm a boss bitch i am enjoying my summer and I'm spending money taking care of myself. That's what I wanna feel. And these sunglasses is literally, are literally giving what I want and need. I'm so ridiculous and I love it. Um, all right, let's move on to the more colorful sunglasses. And I always love colorful sunglasses. I don't know why, I think they just look fun. And if you know me, for those who've been subscribing to my channel, you know I love pastel color, especially lilac and light pink. So it would not be me if I don't include those sunglasses in this haul, in this purchase. So let me show you this one in the shade lilac. Also from Free People, everything, all of the sunglasses I've been showing you is from Free People. And this is, <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, exactly, exactly girls, I want it. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, let's move on to the next one. But you can find all of these sunglasses on Free People website. They have them all out. So just go on Free People, go on access, go on um, accessory, and then it will be under sunglass category. All right. The next one still in here, so I know the name. So this is Pasadena. And the style is Pasadena Cat Eye in the shade pink slash rose. So, like I said, I love a good pastel color sunglass. I already have lilac, so I need a pastel light pink. Oh my God. 
I look ridiculous, okay? I look like I just stepped up from a kid TV show. Yes, I look like a kid. I look like I'm stepping out from a kid TV show. And I love it. I love how ridiculously it looks. I don't care, guys. I love it. I love it so much. I look like a kid version of Miranda Priestly from uh, Devil Wears Prada. Don't you think she always wear, you know, cat eye sunglasses? And this is $25. And then I have another one. This is in the style Kylie Round, also in the shade pink slash rose. To me, this looks like a hybrid between lilac and light pink. So yeah, it, it is in between the, the, the two colors that I like. Let me, let me take this off though. Whatever, let me just put it on for you guys. Ooh, this is cute. This is this is giving this is giving me Barbie doll, you know, just like the other one. Cute, cute, cute. Again, I look ridiculous, and I love it. So yeah, if you like any of the sunglasses I show today, go on Free People website. And this is also, this is $20. So they are all very affordable. Oh yeah, let me show you some of the jewelry that I got from Amazon. Here's are the rings that I got from Amazon. So I have like these croissant rings. It's a little, and this one, like a plate rings right here. I love gold rings to wear on my fingers. This one is actually a little bit too small for me. I got it in size five. It's a little too small. So I think I will have to get another one in size six so I can wear it on my index finger. But I still keep this one because I will, sometime I will want to wear this one on this finger. And if I buy in size six, it could be a little bit too big for this finger. So yeah. And they're about like about um, they're like about 12, 13. I think the most expensive they have is like $17. So it's not expensive at all. And again, I don't like to pay a lot for these things, like sunglasses and these jewelry, because I just wear it for fashion. So I really don't need I really don't need to pay a lot for those. Um, for any fashion item, I usually just buy the one that is more affordable. Yes. Oh yeah, and this, this is my engagement ring with my wedding ring, but yeah. Alright guys, that is the end of my haul today. I hope you guys enjoy everything I'm talking about. Uh, in this video, including fragrances, makeup, skincare, these fashion items. I hope you guys like these type of video. Let me know if you guys enjoy me doing more of these, you know, makeup, skincare, other things other than just fragrances so that I can give you more of the content that you love. All right, thank you again for watching my video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.